So what is APMP certificate? It's a knowledge-based qualification. It's an IPMA, that's International Project Management Association Level D qualification. Uh, and firstly, just to mention that the APM introductory certificate is not a prerequisite for the APMP. It might be advisory for those that have very little project experience before they come on to APMP, but it's not a prerequisite. Um, now, at the next level of detail, what does it comprise? In terms of its scope, the APMP certificate covers 37 of the 52 topics within the body of knowledge. So quite a large number of the topics within the body of knowledge and at a reasonably detailed level compared to, say, the APM introductory certificate. The examination is three hours. It's essay style. Um, you have to take on 10 questions from a total of 16 questions. So the candidate chooses the 10 questions to take on and that's a total of three hours to answer the 10 questions provided. In order to pass the exam, you need to score 55% or more across your total score. You will indeed get uh, feedback from the APM uh, around your, your actual score and the questions where you failed to achieve 55% on an individual question. So there's some feedback that you will get back as a candidate after the exam. In terms of preparation required for this exam, it's intensive. Uh, it's a valuable qualification, but it is intensive to prepare for this examination. It'll take you in total around 60 to 80 hours. That includes any formal training. Um, and formal training is available in, in, in a range of formats to suit your needs, but it will take you that time, both in terms of out-of-classroom uh, individual revision time and combining that with an, any classroom time uh, that you may spend in terms of any training. So allow that sort of time scale in total. Um, there's also, uh, fairly new, is a an APMP certificate that acknowledges prior learning that you've gained from PRINCE2 practitioner. So if you are a registered PRINCE2 practitioner and have gained that within the last five years, you are eligible to take a shortened format of the APMP exam, which is a two-hour two exam answering six from ten questions. And it focuses on 25 of the 37 topics in the normal APMP syllabus. But that's only if you are a PRINCE2 practitioner within the last five years, and you will need to evidence that. In terms of who it will benefit, it's very much aimed at project managers of low to medium experience uh, in terms of providing you a solid foundation for going on to manage projects of various sizes.